Hi, I would like to discuss a few interesting technical details of Apache Hadoop Ozon, but before we can talk about the technical details, we should be on the same side on high level about Apache Hadoop Ozon. So in this video, video, I would like to talk about the main components of Ozon. Ozon is a Hadoop subproject. It's a distributed object store and it can scale and store billions of objects and provides S3 protocol, Hadoop file system interface and CSI. If we talk about the storage, there are multiple approaches to, to store files. Let's say you have one file and one very common way to store it, which is followed by HDFS and Ozone, is just to split this one file to smaller blocks. And in that case, we should store the blocks, not the files. So there are multiple advantages of this approach. It's uh, we can we can copy just the blocks between data nodes. It's easier to erase the code. So let's use this uh, pattern right now. If we have these blocks, which are just the parts of the file one, the next question is that what what how can we replicate the blocks between data nodes? So block one should be copied to data node one. Ideally, not just to data node one, but data node three. We need multiple instances from the same blocks, right? Just to avoid any kind of data loss. So let's copy the B3 to data node one, data node two, and maybe to data node four. And in B2, we have just one instance. So it also should be copied to data node, maybe to data node two. So that's the storage model, which is used by HDFS and Ozone as well. Okay, let's use a DN4 replica for the block one. So we have two kind of mappings, actually. One mapping is that the file is mapped to blocks and the other one where the blocks are mapped to real locations. And these two mappings can be named as key space and uh, block space. And Actually, in HDFS, we have the same mapping or same kind of mappings. But in HDFS, we have one master node, the name node, which manages both of these maps. But in Ozone, there is a different structure because we just cut this name node. These two functionalities are separated to two master servers. So we have one specific service which uh, does the first mapping the key to block mapping, uh, the key to block mapping, and the other one does only the replication part that binaries should be replicated and stored somewhere in a safe way. So, this is a full view of Ozone components. All of the other components are just uh, additional helpers like the web UI or prediction service or an S3 compatible. Uh, REST service, which uses the main, must, main two master services and the three data nodes. So one advantage of this approach that on top of this lower level uh, layer, which does replication between the data nodes. So the, the only responsibility of this storage container manager just copy huge binary blobs. And on top of it, we can provide an object store. So we started object store, that is the ozone, but we can provide additional services, maybe a mountable storage, or maybe HDFS can use this lower level service. That was the original vision, but currently this is what we have. We have a lower level block space management layer with all of the data nodes who report back to the storage container manager, which manages this replication. And we have the also manager, which manages this key value uh, volumes space. And on top of it, we have all of the other services, the clients with different protocols. So if we check the storage container manager, the SCM, which is, which is responsible, which has the responsibility to replicate the data, we can, we can find these, uh, network protocols. So pipeline is just some kind of replication group, multiple servers, and containers are the replication 
block, a huge binary, which is uh, replicated between multiple data nodes. So these are the services which are provided by this uh, low level SCM service. And uh, yeah, there, there is one additional that there is a, a heartbeat from the data nodes to the SCM. But if we check the ozone manager, this is an, an other layer which uses the lower level replication layer, but the only responsibility of this layer is the key space management. It manages volumes, buckets, keys, the real uh, business objects uh, with the help of the SCM. And it also provides some kind of indexes to, to provide better services for file system based clients like the Hadoop compatible file system. Some security related networks, so these are the main network services inside the Ozone Manager. And last but not least, we have the data nodes, but they are very similar to any kind of storage nodes um, in any other storage service. So we have the Ozone Manager for the key space management the storage container manager for block space management. Those are the master services and the data nodes are just storing the data and reporting back the current status to the SCM via hardware. So that's about Apache Hadoop Ozone. In the next video, we will check the storage container manager in more details and check what are the huge binaries which are replicated between the different services.